The next one we do tend to see more in older populations, which is quad weakness. So basically the front of the thigh muscle that its main job is to straighten out the knee. And you can spot this in older people if they're walking with their knees bent. If when they stand up from a chair, they don't straighten out their knees all the way. Maybe they push their legs into the chair to help lift themselves up mechanically, or they have to bend their knees back quite a bit to be able to lift themselves up, or they have to lean forward quite a bit in order to stand up from a chair. What we're also going to cover today is is the execution of these exercises, how to do it. And again, the progression of it, keeping it simple and safe. And then that way you can actually execute on it and have a lot of success with it. And we're gonna show you how to progress these very basic exercises to give you the most bang for your buck to be able to progress and become stronger and better balanced, improve posture and prevent the trajectory of decline as we get older and change that trajectory more upwards. So then we're trajecting more upwards instead of down. So now we're gonna go over quad sets over or what we call sometimes knee pushdowns. And this is really good for strengthening, activating the quadricep muscle or the front of the thigh muscle so we can straighten out the knee. In order to do a quad set or a knee pushdown, basically lie down with one leg straight, the other knee bent. The reason we wanna do this is to protect our back because when we put both legs down like this, it can commonly cause pain in the back. So we wanna keep at least one knee bent with the foot flat. So we just contract the front of the thigh and then push the leg down for five to 10 seconds and then relax. Now, what we don't want to do is use the muscles up here in our hips to push the leg down. We don't want to use our rear end muscle to push the leg down. We just want to connect from our mind to the front of our thigh down here, close to the knee to push the leg down, to straighten out the knee and then relax. So having that mind body connection between contracting the muscle and then relaxing it. And that's what we're really trying to develop here. So if we want to focus on the amount of motion of the knee straightening, let's say if there's a lot of arthritis in the knee or if the knee does not straighten out very well, we can put a towel roll at the end of the ankle. And then as we do our quad set or knee push down, we focus on the knee being able to straighten out more and more by lifting up the ankle a little bit. So that's one modification that we can do. Now, what we can also do if we're having problems connecting from the mind-body connection to the thigh, then we can put in a towel roll roll here and then use that to have something to push down on. So then our thought process can be pushing the knee into an object and that can help us connect to the front of the thigh muscle here to the quadricep there. Now we don't want to keep this here all the time because once we connect from our brain to the quadricep, then eventually we want to remove the towel roll because we want to be able to get the knee as straight as it will go without having that bend in it with the towel there. So after after we're able to do the knee push down or the quad set, what we want to get to is the straight leg raise. So to do that, we do a knee push down or a quad set, push down, and then be able to lift up the leg a little bit without the knee bending, and then to be able to lower it down without the knee bending, and then relax completely. The key there is in relaxing completely. We don't want to just crank away and lifting the leg up and down like this. And this is a very common mistake you'll see if you go to outpatient physical therapy. What's happening here is the the muscles up here are doing the work. The knee is bending, so there's a lot of stress on the tendons, and the muscles that we're trying to work are not correctly contracting. So instead, we want to start with that simple quad set, contract the quad, and then lift the leg up a little bit, and then lower back down. It doesn't necessarily matter how high you lift it, as long as you're able to use the correct muscles to keep the knee straight, and then you're able to keep the knee straight using the muscle down here that's close to the knee, and not using the muscles up here in the hip. If you're not able to do that straight leg raise without the knee bending, which is very common, but you're able to do the quad sets just fine. You know, you're doing 20, 30 quad sets, but you're not able to do a straight leg raise without the knee bending and without using the correct muscles, then this is a way to progress to that. We should call it a short quad. In this case, I have paper towels underneath my knee and then just simply straightening out the leg and then slow and controlled lower back down. And again, the focus is the quadricep muscle right here that's close to the knee to straighten out the leg and then slow and controlled back down, also focusing on that lowering contraction. So it's not just lifting the leg and then dropping it. And you can progress this by having as much or as little bend in as you like. So if you start off more simply, it's a towel where you have less knee bend. If you want something more challenging, then just put something a little bit more. And so then you have to go like that over, say, a large pillars. So there's many great ways to progress this exercise.